In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create a virtual tour in Google Earth. First, let's open the application by going to the Google Home screen. Click the Google Apps Launcher and select the Google Earth icon. The alternative method is to open a new tab and enter in the address bar earth.google.com. Both methods will open the Google Earth web app. Next, let's familiarize ourselves with the interface. On the left side, we can see the menu. When you turn on the Photos toggle switch, you will be able to see the Photos feature. For example, when I click this, it will show a set of photos from this location. To switch off, go to the menu sidebar and click again the toggle switch. Here are the other options on the menu. The search will allow us to find places in Google Earth. For example, let's search for Manila. The Voyager option showcases resources categorized into nature, games, layers for landmarks, street view to see street photos or 360-degree photos, culture, travel, and educational materials that can be used especially by teachers and students. The dice icon when clicked will randomly pick a place. Let's go back to the Philippines using the search option. Another option is called Map Style. It has four items. Clean, that removes borders, labels, places, and roads symbols. Exploration, that shows all those labels and symbols. everything that shows all the labels and symbols possible in Google Earth and custom to customize what you will see in Google Earth. I will zoom out by scrolling down the scroll wheel of my mouse. I can also double click the right side of the mouse to zoom out. Going back to the custom item, I can uncheck countries to remove the country's labels. The same effect will happen if I will uncheck the localities box. I can use the ruler option to measure the distance of two or more places. For example, I would like to know how far a city to another city. As we can see on the right side, the calculated distance appeared. We can also change the unit of measurement if needed. Let's now proceed to useful tools located at the lower right of the screen. The plus and minus signs represent zoom in and out respectively. We can change the appearance to 3D and back to 2D. 3D will show a tilted view. To reset the view, click the compass icon. I'll zoom in by using the scroll wheel or double clicking the left side of the mouse. Click the person icon and drag it to points or paths on Earth to show a street view of that place. We can click and drag to have a 360-degree view of the location. Click the person icon again to exit. Click the globe icon to have a view of the globe from outer space. Drag and point to a specific place in the globe for you to go to that place. Double click the compass icon to swap for the globe. Drag vertically for tilt view. Change the orientation by dragging the circle icon. Click the compass icon to reset the view. At this point, let's create a new project. The output of this project is a presentation with marked places on the globe. This can be used to create a virtual tour. Click open if you already have a project or if someone shared a file with you. Click the create button to begin making one. 
we can either create a project in Google Drive or create it on our computer. I will choose the first option. I am going to enter the project title. For my example, it's going to be Negros Occidental Virtual Tour. I already prepared descriptions for the places that I will be including in this tour. I will copy it and paste it here. Let's now start adding features to the tour. I will search for the first destination, which is the Perth Beach Resort. I will click the Add to Project button, then verify the details. I will click the Edit Place button to add details. I also prepared pictures that I will use on this tour. I will upload the picture. I will copy the description and paste it here. I can apply basic formatting in the description box. I will create a hyperlink to the Facebook page of this resort. For the info box, let's choose the large option. Change the color of the place mark to blue. Make it larger. Click the More options for more icons. I will look for a swimming icon. We can add more pictures. Click the preview button to see how it will appear. Let's check if the link is working. As we can see, it works fine. I would like the viewers of this tour to have a closer view of the place, so I will zoom in. Select the person icon and drag it to one of the points. For this to be saved as the default view of this first destination, I will click this Capture This View button. Once everything is fine, let's go back to the main page. Let's now add another destination. Search for the next place, which is the ruins still in Negros Occidental. I will be flown to that location. I will click the Add to Project button, edit the place, add pictures, copy and paste the description, apply formatting to the text, Make a hyperlink to the source. Change to large info box. Change the color of the place mark to blue and select the appropriate icon. If I want to, I can also remove the labels of the place in my project. I will add more pictures. I will use the street view so the viewers of my virtual tour will get to explore the place using arrow guides. If this is the one I would like as the default view, then I just have to click the Capture This View button. Click the Preview button to check how it will appear. I will add another destination using the same steps.
I can also add a feature called full screen slide. Let's have an example to see how this works. I will add a title, add a description, apply formatting to it, and add a hyperlink. Upload a picture. Then I'll click the preview button. Here's another example of a full screen view. Here's the last destination in my virtual tour. I will do the same steps mentioned earlier. To check the presentation and before sharing it with others, let's see the output first. Click the present button. We are now in the presentation. We can see on the lower left side the table of contents to control the tour. We are flown to the first destination which is the Perth Beach Resort. Next is the ruins. Click the next arrow to fly to Lakawan Beach Resort. These are some of the best restaurants in the province, Jotai's Eatery and Kalea. Let's fly to the last destination which is the Kampwestohan Highland Resort.
It looks fine to me, so I am now ready to share it with other people. At the top, click the Share Project tool. We can either share directly or get link to share with many people. For now, I will directly share this with a specific person. I can make him an editor or viewer. This is what the other person will do to view the shared virtual tour. He will open Google Earth. Click the project option, select the open button, and choose open project from Google Drive. Go to the shared with me tab. There, the file can be found. Select it. To begin the virtual tour, he has to click the present button. If I would like to share this virtual tour with many people, I will go back to the Share Project tool. I will go to the Get Link area and set anyone with the link as viewer access. Copy the link and distribute it to others. This is what other people will do to view the shared virtual tour. They will just simply copy the link and paste it into the address bar. It will automatically open Google Earth with the virtual tour file. They will click the present button to begin the journey. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions. Thank you!